Look at this. Look, isn't that, isn't that cool? Whoa, it looks like an airplane. And you know what this means, right? We're building another airplane. Now look over there. <laughs> so that's about one week's worth of work. And also look at that. That's my dog. Isn't he cute? Okay, but um, montage. So, this is what I've got done so far. Okay, so apparently a lot has happened in the last few months, uh, mainly regarding the airplane, because a lot of you have definitely commented about the airplane. But like all things, it tends to grow up. Yeah. So the airplane stuck at the airport. We'll talk more about it in the future, but I do plan to be flying again a few times, but the plane unfortunately didn't really meet all my criteria. It was a little bit too fast and not fast enough to really be usable, mainly because the electric motors are so inefficient that the plane can only fly for 15 minutes and I'm like 15 minutes is not enough to really go around and have fun with so that's why I'm building a new one because this one she will do maybe about an hour or so depending on how much extra batteries I can cram into the nose and 
Hmm, what else? Okay, let's talk about the design a little bit. So the airplane, I spent a lot more time designing this one versus the other one. The other one was simply just sketched out in two dimensions and then just made in a day and I kind of went from there. Also, there's very, very little plans involving the last one, so don't even ask about plans for the last one because there are none. That plane was mostly an afterthought. The entire airplane was just built, cobbled together, and I thought, hmm, is this part strong enough? No, it isn't. Let's add some more. And that's how the plane ended up being massively overweight. Not part, not overweight over 103, but definitely overweight in my book. Because the plane was supposed to be 180 pounds, ready to fly. Ended up being 230 pounds, which definitely kind of sucks. So this one, I've done a little bit more research and development with. Mainly because in this CAD program, which is Fusion, that's what I use, by the way, for everyone who keeps asking that. I can measure the weight of the aluminum. So all the aluminum in this entire structure right now is about 130 pounds. So all 6061 T6, maybe there's some uh, 4130 strip steel in here and things like that. So this should be a lot lighter. As long as I don't go too crazy with everything else, it should be fine. I mean, I did kind of screw up on the tail section over there. That is 15 pounds, which is not good because the last one was 10 pounds and I thought that was heavy. But somehow this one even managed to pick up even more weight. But it's definitely stronger, which is... A benefit but there's just more surface area because they went with the straight leading edge versus the other leading edge which is a little more aerodynamic but this is having to be easier to build and still pretty strong the hell is that? as you can 70, see it's about 72 70 pounds, pounds. Ah. put it down so i mean it's not bad but it's not good I still think, man, well, actually, 72 is very reasonable considering the tail section is completely complete. The flying wire is already on it. The fuselage is mostly done. I still need to install the seat and the um, control yoke and the rest of the landing gear garbage, but that should only weigh about maybe 20 pounds at most. So that puts us about 90 pounds. And then I don't really know where the rest of the weight comes from, but we'll figure out in a minute when I start adding it on there. I think that's a little on the overkill side, too. Same thing with these. I'm not bolted in yet. Hey Sam, how strong do you think my tail is? I'm gonna put this on it. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna put this on the tail section. Ow. I don't want to put it in the center of it because I don't fully try. I don't have time to really rebuild this. Oh my god, it's so heavy. For anyone that doesn't know anything about airplanes, this is severely that is wrong. a very good test of normal wing loading when it's flying, right? Yeah, no way. There's no way it's going to have 35 pounds of pressure on one side of the elevator. What, you're not going to have a point load like a 35 pound weight? No, I will, we still need to actually do a load test on this airplane, but that's when you sandbag it and do all that stuff. Oh, you mean a pad tie bag? Oh yeah, we'll, we'll put food tie boxes on it. <laughs> okay, so a little bit about the power system. I have these Rotomax 150cc elect, electric motors. Now, I do plan to find something a little bit more lower KV because the problem with these is these spin such small propellers that it's not conducive to an ultralight. You're moving a, a lot of air in a small, small size where you just want to, no, no, you're moving a lot of air very quickly in a small footprint. When for something slow like an ultra, you want to move a, a large volume of air, but not very fast. So that's why I hope to get some multi-rotor electric, electric motors to run this thing around. And I have been talking to Sunny Sky, so they should be hooking us up with some motors for this project, but we'll talk a little more when I get the motors and do some testing with those. Okay, what else? Ooh, live streaming, yes, yes. Okay, this Friday, Eastern time. When's a good time, Sam? 5 p.m.? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Eastern time. That means, so on, if you're on the West Coast, it's five? Okay. Four. Four, okay. That's good. That's good in the time. So, Eastern time, 7 p.m. This Friday, we're probably going to be doing live streaming updates because, uh, as you guys have probably noticed, the montage is a little bit lackluster. That's because I am very quickly trying to get this airplane done, but also being more safe about it. So, I'm cutting back on camera work because camera work takes a long time, and I'm just doing this myself. So, I can only do so much. So we will be live streaming to make up for the lack of content. Plus you also can ask questions and whatever. Because, oh, the plan for this is to get to Oshkosh because I have gotten in contact with the EAA. I'm still waiting on a little bit more details, so don't take anything 
as word yet. But the other airplane is supposed to go to Oshkosh, and I might be doing a talk on Friday, show center, not show center, out in the woods or something. More about that later, but that's happening too, so there'll be something going on with the EAA in there, so you might be able to see both these airplanes at Oshkosh. Is that it? I think that's it. Wish me luck, everyone. Welcome to DIY Airplane Part 1, Mark 2. Cut.